training's going real well. You know, I train with a, with a good crew of guys out of um, Truce or out of Leeds. And um, training real well. Ground game, striking, I feel well, real well rounded. Had to switch some things up a bit in the beginning because uh, my original fighter pulled out and got cold feet, I guess. So had to cut a little bit of weight. But uh, other than that, yeah, training's been going great. To be honest, I don't really know uh, a whole lot about my opponent. I know he, can, he comes from a striking background, which is fine because uh, I come from a Thai background uh, myself to, to begin with. So, you know, he wants to trade a little bit of leather. I don't have no problems with that. So uh, if it goes to the ground, then I'm, I'm confident on the ground as well. So, you know, I'm, I'm not going to take anything for granted, but I'm not sweating too much. Uh, it just depends. It can go either way, really. You know, uh, go out there and then feel him out a little bit, you know. And um, he's a bit shorter than me, so I kind of keep him at a distance. And then uh, once it's time to let him loose, I'm going to let him loose. And, See how long he wants to stand after that. It's go time. Let's do it. It's been training all the last few months. Jiu-Jitsu, kickboxing. Hope it all comes together tonight. Watch a little bit. I haven't really watched much, to be honest. So I'm just going to take the fight as it comes. Hopefully, I'll keep it standing. This is about 18 on your card. It's a pro welterweight free five-minute round bout. Sponsored by Elmwaste Management Washington. In the blue corner. Representing a Leeds True Spirit Mixed Martial Arts, Lee the Yankee Keegan. Red corner, representing Sunny Jiu Jitsu Mixed Martial Arts Club, Michael Briggs. Michael Briggs from Sunderland, 30 years old, 5 foot 9 inches tall. His mixed martial arts record is 3 and 2. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a pro well the way about. Three five minute rounds. Sponsored by Elmwaste Management Washington. Weighing in at 78.9 kilos. Representing Lee's True Spirit Mixed Martial Arts. In the blue corner, Lee the Yankee Keegan. In the red corner, weighing in at 78.3 kilos. Representing Sunderland Jiu Jitsu Mixed Martial Arts Club. Michael Briggs! Lee Keegan, a very good all-rounder against Michael Briggs, who normally prefers a standing, very good kickboxing skills. Will Lee Keegan have done his homework? Because if he has, I think he will try to take this one down. Keegan in the red tie shorts, Briggs in the black tie shorts. Good inside kick by Briggs. Good body shot. Briggs managing to capitalise the takedown by grabbing his leg with a body from the, from the kick of Keegan. Yes, good takedown by by Briggs. Briggs in the half guard. Keegan bridging and rolling into a good reversal. Very good bridge. Now he's in the half guard of Briggs. If Briggs can... If I was in his corner, I'd be saying, get it standing. But it's not as always as easy as that, is it, Steve? Oh, without a doubt. I mean, obviously, Keegan's doing very well at keeping Briggs pinned. You know, obviously, Briggs has got to be careful because as he's slowly trying to work himself out of this position, he doesn't want to obviously burn himself out as well. Well, obviously, Keegan will still be on top and he'll just be that extra bit tired. This is pro rules. Briggs needs to get out of there. Otherwise, it's going to be Keegan's dropped big, some big heavy trouble. shots there. Keegan really raining some hard right hands down there. Overhand right. Obviously, the difference is when, when you're getting put in a ground and pound position, obviously, gravity's against you. And your head's pinned to the floor. A lot of the time when obviously you know your head hasn't got nowhere to bounce and you know that's when it starts getting where you can be getting knocked out very quickly well steve if briggs doesn't get out of here keegan's draining some heavy shots in there they i mean briggs both, moving but you can tell by both guys physique they are very strong keegan's but head stopped moving it's pinned up against the fence i think the referee's gonna stop yeah this. briggs is referee stopped i think it was a very clever decision by the the referee to stop it there because you know we, we don't know obviously we don't want people getting seriously hurt but that's pro rules peter isn't it fights that, can finish a lot quicker with pro rules as we've seen 
Yes, and very heavy hands by Keegan. Very powerful. Now that could have went either way. Just obviously Keegan managed to stop on top and rein the blows in. Let's go. 